We join Charles Hadlock, who is live outside the Sheridan Astrodome, with a report for us on that. Charlie? Well, it is rather a raw evening here in Houston tonight on this October evening, and most of the protesters have left while the president continues speaking inside at the Sam Houston Ballroom. But the Republicans who attended this event tonight had to endure the chance of protesters who lined up outside the hotel ballroom. About 30 people lined the sidewalk, splashing fake blood on each other and shouting their thoughts out loud on a variety of subjects, including women's rights and the lack of funding for AIDS. They claim the president hasn't been doing enough on issues that hit closest to home. We think the way that George Bush is running the country is pretty atrocious and we would like to see a change in 92. We're 10 years into the crisis. We've got 200,000 people that are dead, 1.5 million infected, and George Bush, as leader of this country, should be doing something, and he does nothing. And I think it's appalling that he's trying to take care of the other countries, and he's letting us go homeless and unemployed. Now, despite all the shouting, the president and vice president never heard the protesters. They arrived through a back door. And we might add, Steve and Marlene, that security is extremely tight in Houston tonight. This is the first time the president and vice president have been together outside of Washington for an event like this. It's a rare event and a high security risk.